Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Corona, California. This is episode number 341. Yes, people, 341 shows. That means almost a year, almost a year of being with you. Well, actually, it's more than a year. We've been with you over a year. We've been with you since March of last year when the quarantine started. We were there. And let's invite our friends from the other side. The other side. People from the other side. Come on in. Come on in. People from the other side. Uh oh. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, the people from the other side are are fighting back. They don't want to be on this side. Okay, Facebook. Don't do this stuff. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Now the people from the other side are going to be joining us. Oh, no, not yet. Come on, people from the other side. Don't do that to us. All right, here we go. Let's see. Okay, you're not going to do that. Let's try this again. Hello, hello, people. I want to do. So we're just trying to have our friends. Join us on this beautiful Wednesday, midweek. Okay. It's not going to let me do that. This is not fun. I don't like this. Okay, Facebook. Behave, behave, behave. Here we go. Let's see. We will. And one last try. If not, share. Oh. Okay, we want to share this. Okay, it's not working. It's not working. That's fine. I'll wait a minute. All right. Welcome, people. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Testing one, two, three. I mean, Paul. Paul is here. Who's Paul? Where is Paul? Is this Paul? Our Paul? Michael Ramirez is here. Debbie Malone is here. Christian Goble, how are you? Thank you for joining us. And Paul Garland. That's him. That's Paul that I'm thinking about. Bobby Miller, how are you? Rita, I just ran out of Z's. I'm sorry, one Z will do. All right, let's see who else. Becky Ottenberry, how are you? Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, and you have enough E's for Bobby, but not enough Z's for Nazi. That's really great. Okay, let me tell you what's going on. Uh, this Monday... There's a huge show in L.A. Uh, literally, it's a big, big show. And uh, what's his name? Okay, stop talking, Mr. Nazir, stop. So I'm, I'm going to give it one more try uh, for this. And this is called, the show is called Live from L.A. And it's on the KKLA which is the biggest Christian station in the area. And what they, ha oh, here we go. So they had uh, uh, their, their, what do you call it, their host for many years, Frank Sontag, great guy, lovely Christian man. And he left. So they've been having different pastors and leaders to host the show. And they asked me to host it on Monday the 27th. So what do I do? I go pick some great, great speakers and bring them on. Lee Strobel, who's the best-selling author, Amazing, amazing journalist from the Chicago Tribune. They did a movie about his life. He is a, an apologist. And he is going to be with me for from 3 to 4 in the San Diego and Los Angeles area. Talking about his new book, The Case for Heaven. And then from 4 to 4.30, I'm going to have Dr. Mark Sheehan, who's a cardiologist, heart doctor. And he's going to be talking about his book, the healing prayer on holy ground is when people are in the last moments or people who think they're dying and what his experience with these people and how there's a presence of God in there. So it's very interesting. And then also from 4.30 to 5, I'm going to have my friend Shonda Pierce to bring some joy and laughter to the, to the show. So it's going to be a full two hours. There's at least $100,000 uh, people in each market that are watching this also you can watch it if you go to kkla.com uh, 
com you can watch the show yourself so uh, that's that's good thank you yesterday because my you know i was i brought john his girlfriend hannah this is really his girlfriend yes and i'm happy about it and she was with us and then his two friends was with us you know it's funny how in our home the live with naz it's a part of our family like john's friends or carol's friend or someone they like oh you know oh the live with naz yeah 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 so well, can we be on it i'm like sure you know my my friends on the show they they don't mind so thank you so much guys i know it didn't look very professional but hey it was off the cuff yes oh it was so much fun last night and it's great to see john and everyone yeah john hasn't been you know it was the first time on the show that me and john were together because he used to host the show when i'm gone and bring his own friends and his own stuff i used to like frank pastore frank was a good friend of mine not a good friend like not like oh we talk to each other all the time but he was a great guy and what a sad loss ruth craig how are you ruth first time let us know what city and state that's all we ask and we're gonna laugh we're gonna start laughing right now so here we go from last night i asked you the worst name or slogan for a gum company worst name or a slogan for a gum company number 20 try don't instead of try dent try don't Number 19, bumblebee tuna gum. Number 18, one time chew. Number 17, second hand chew. Number 16, fillings are us, are ours. <laughs> fillings are ours. Get it? And number 15, chewy and wet. Bobby Miller was on last night. Number 14, chewing gum and bike tire patch. Number 13, bubble yum scum. <laughs> That must be Rita, of course. <laughs> Number 12, Chewbacca gum, hair included at no extra cost. 11, reduce, reuse, recycle gum. <laughs> Number 10, TMJ gum. Number 9, we stick to you. Number 8, Baba gum, chewing company. Number 7, he's looking at chew. Not you, at chew. Uh, Number 6, Keeps your dentures in your mouth. Number five, gingivitis chewing gum. <laughs> Number four, pre-chewed for you. Number three, find us under most restaurant tables. Number two, worst name for a chewing gum. Uh-oh, that's what happens when you step on a gum. Uh-oh. And the number one, I thought it was the funniest, loose teeth. That's, <laughs> that's what gum, <laughs> it gets your teeth loose. All right, so. Michael Ramirez like number seven, which was, here's looking at you. Was that yours? Hey, Chris M. Where's Chris Martell? Welcome back, Chris Martell. How are you? Nice to see you and John side by side. Thank you, Sarah. I think it's awesome when you have surprise guest appearances. Good. I laughed as hard with all the off cup stuff last night. There were some funny moments, yeah okay let's see it's so cool to get a few in there last night thank you guys so much you guys are so kind well, let's see this question came from rita and it said things you should not say at an elegant event things you should not say at an elegant event this is what she came up with uh things you should not say at an elegant event let me give you that here we go and things you should not say at an elegant if why is that come on hey oh why am i on safari okay here we go things you should not say on an elegant event at an elegant event just what you say can you tell me where the outhouse is real napkins oh i don't need to use my sleeves where are the deer and opossum heads Hope you don't mind that I brought my cousins, just the ones who recently married. <laughs> okay, let's see. Glad you. I'm happy to help give everyone something to laugh and smile about. Okay, let's see. I need TP. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. <laughs> Where's the John? <laughs> the battle. Okay, I need TP. <laughs> Where's the toilet paper? <laughs> hey, Brent, how was your show? 
Jerry Springer is here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Excuse me, sir. Uh, where might where might I find the all you can eat fried chicken? Okay, let's see. I have info on Hillary Clinton here. Do you have plastic knives and forks? Right. I have info on Hillary Clinton. You don't say that at an elegant event. That's <laughs> that's funny, Brent. Will there be doggy bags? <laughs> that's good, Bobby. Will there be doggy bags? Mm, burp really loud and then say, that was really good. <laughs> hey, Diana. <laughs> Diana Stubblefield. Hello, Diana. Uh, Diane, I'm so sorry. Just let us know. City and state. That's all we ask. First timer. That guy looks like he's dressed as Richard Simmons. <laughs> do you have anything for this gas? Oh, no. <laughs> Where do I tie my kids up at? <laughs> That's good, Chris. All right. Hi, hi. For a moment to say, hi, service is worse where we are than last night. I'm sorry. Where are you, Becky? Becky, are you in Washington still? Please pray for someone we learned of who was in a car accident and had a brain surgery. Thank you. Have a good night. We'll be praying for them at 9.53. We will. We'll be praying for them. Where does the karaoke start? <laughs> when does the karaoke start? That's good, Rochelle. How are you? Welcome back. I bought my own alcohol and silverware. <laughs> I brought my own alcohol and silverware. Can I bring in my emotional support animal? <laughs> I love those little forks to use at a toothpick. Oh, no. Do you have a plate for my denture? <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm vegan. No, <laughs> you don't say that. <laughs> this is good, guys. This is good. Where's the jukebox? When are we going to bob for apples? <laughs> Do people bob for apples? What is bob for apples? <laughs> I don't even know what bob for apples is. By the way, Art cannot be with us again today. Yesterday he sent me an email said he had a, a deacon meeting for his church and today he's just sent another one and says, Oh, again today, I'm not going to be able to. Listen, if you're absent more than two days from the show, I need a letter from your parents. I need the signature. I need, or else I'll be calling some of your parents and say, you missed the show twice or three times. And that's not acceptable. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. This is funny. Hmm. I brought my own seasoning. Thank you very much. Hey, get down. Hey, get down the fiddle and get down the bow. Take off your shoes and throw them on the floor. I.E. Louisiana Saturday night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounds like lyrics. Hi, Naz. Really enjoyed your guest last night, especially your son, John and Hannah. Thank you so much. Refreshing. I should have him more often. I'm so glad this event was on the day of the month that I usually do my laundry. <laughs> okay, this party is such a drag. <laughs> Close the shade, his bald head is shining in my eyes. Is this the line for the restroom? <laughs> Sorry, my wife is wearing her Daisy Dukes because her fancy gown is still, <laughs> is still on layaway. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Rhonda Wills, welcome. Let's do the chicken. <laughs> Let's do the chicken dance. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Apples are put in a wash tub with water. You put your hands behind your back and try to bite one. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, never done that, but I've seen it done. I'm recently out of prison. <laughs> you don't say Apple bobbing, also known as bobbing for apples, is a game often played on Halloween. The game is played by filling a tub or a lush basin with water. Well, with California drought, I don't think it's happening. And putting apples in the water because apples are less dense than water and they will float 
uh, at the surface, prayers, usually children, players, not prayers, players try to catch one with their teeth. Use of arms is not allowed and the hands are often tied behind the back uh, to prevent cheating. And how many kids drown you doing this game? But that's fun. Sounds like fun. Uh, stop staring at me, Naz. You'll, you'll get the letter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Yep. I need... Uh, hello from the Cove. Lily Navas is here. Becky said probably why we were all healthy as kids we bobbed for apples <laughs> i showered for this <laughs> things you don't say at an elegant event i showered for this <laughs> on your laundry night right where's the barf bag <laughs> oh no all right let's see can i get a to-go box <laughs> okay it was naz it's a song it's a song yeah I don't eat that fancy stuff, so I brought my own McDonald's, <laughs> right? Oh, shoot, this isn't a costume party. Where do I park my scooter? <laughs> I I saw a dress like yours at Walmart. <laughs> you don't tell people that. <laughs> oh, I haven't been to a, what, a kegerator? Oh, a kegerator since college. Let's get this party started. <laughs> it's a keg later. How long until this is over? I hate what I have to wear for this. When does musical chairs start? I would love that. <laughs> Doing the chicken dance. <laughs> when do we drink champagne from a boot? Are we supposed to tip the valet? There is no valet. Then who took my car? <laughs> Mind if I clear my false teeth if <laughs> in your wine glass? <laughs> Where's my goodie bag? Okay, it's time to hydrate and share people every 15 minutes. If you're new to us, you know that. We hydrate and we share all 78 people tonight. All right. Well, this is, <laughs> well, if this ain't the swanky hoedown, knocks on kitchen door. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any gray poupon? <laughs> Marcus Parrish, thank you for joining us. First timer, thank you so much. Just let us know city and state where you're at right now. That's all we ask. One time. What do you call, what do you call a cow? In a tornado, a milkshake. <laughs> okay. Where's the line for the COVID test? <laughs> oh, what do you mean the rooster can't come? Okay, things you don't say at an elegant event. Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> Can I dance on the table? No. <laughs> this is almost as fun as Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Could we get a kick at this end, please? <laughs> All right, hydrate. Tag, you're it. That smell, it wasn't me. <laughs> when do we start the pig calling contest? <laughs> Who wants to do body shots? <laughs> All right. Hold my glass high while I cut a rug on the dance floor. <laughs> Rhonda, what kind of parties do you go to? <laughs> Hold my glass high. <laughs> oh, what a visionary you are. <laughs> It's it's okay. I brought my kissing cousin tonight. <laughs> oh, you have a kissing cousin, Brent? Oh, I didn't know you have to <laughs> to have a kissing cousin. I don't have a kissing cousin. <sighs> and I'm from the south, the south of Israel, the Holy Land. <laughs> with my shoe This this place is real fancy. Hey, ma, take a picture of me next. Wait, come on, stop. Take a picture of me next to this man in the fancy pants. <laughs> it goes it goes fast when you guys all, uh, you know, comment. I brought the balloons and helium. Can I give you traveler's check? Is this a funeral? I brought the twister game. <laughs> Will there be cow tipping tonight? <laughs> is this where the hoedown party is? Where's my emotional support dog? 
Things you don't say at an elegant event. Where's the babysitter for my five kids? Do you have any more of those snails? I need them for my garden. <laughs> Sing cotton eye, Joe. What? There's no child care? <laughs> eh, are those pearls real? L <laughs> Let me bite them. You call that a dress? Who's up for some beer pong? <laughs> Let's see. What kind of bees give milk? Boobies. Oh, stop it, Michael. <laughs> Michael, stop. <laughs> Is there free parking at this event? Don't make fun of my glass eye. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you have really? No. <laughs> Lawrence Walker died. Why is his cover band here? <laughs> what did the baby mosquito say to his mom on its first flight? Look, ma, everybody's clapping for me. <laughs> okay, are we doing dad jokes now? <laughs> Honey, get my Tupperware. They got free food here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Gary, you must pay an arm and a leg for that rock. <laughs> Where did you get your Botox done? <laughs> Want to ditch this place and go alligator tipping? Do they do that in Florida? I know cow tipping, but alligator tipping, that's dangerous. Who wants to play Twister? <laughs> what happened when I pulled this cloth, cloth off the table? <laughs> I know. <laughs> they voted you out, Michael. For this joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. We love Michael Ramirez. We can't, we can't do anything about it. <laughs> Michael, Michael, Michael. How much did you pay for that attitude you're, carry you're carrying around? All right. Where's the remote and beer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you guys working with kids way too long? Has been working with kids way too long, right? <laughs> that that's uh, an excuse. We'll take that. Okay, let me change the question on you people. The question is the next question. It's called let's see. Where is the worst place to renew your wedding vows? Where is the worst place to renew your wedding vows? Let's see. That's also... That came from Chris Rossetti. Where is the worst place to renew your wedding vows? Okay. Let's see, there's a Christmas still and said working I gotta be fast because my parole officer only gave me an hour to party. Well Chris <laughs> thank you for using your freedom time to join us. Why is your husband hiding under the table? Hold my beer. Does this event have a movie and where is the reclining chairs? Watch out if your nose don't get out of the air. Someone may come by with a COVID test. <laughs> Watch out. If your nose don't get out of the air, someone's going to come up with a COVID test. Okay, let's see. What is the First place to renew your wedding vows at your mother-in-law's house. At a racetrack, at a funeral home, at a solitary confinement, at a funeral home, <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's be solitary for at a in a cemetery, church where you married your first wife, <laughs> at a dairy farm, Lily, <laughs> at a dairy farm where it smells. 
Michael, that was no reference to any of your jokes. In divorce court, <laughs> underwater. <laughs> this is good. At a funeral home. I don't know. We're vacationing in Perdido Keys. Oh, Florida right now. The alligators are hiding. <laughs> don't do it, Rhonda. Please. <laughs> They're fast. Alligators are fast. So don't tip them. Just, you know what? It's, it's part of the check. What they receive is already added. All gratis, <laughs> gratitude <laughs> are added. Uh, you know, so you don't have to give them a tip. Don't tip them. In divorce court, at the DMV, <laughs> at someone else's wedding, anywhere, <laughs> in your ex-wife's bathroom, <laughs> at divorce court, at the dirt track races, in the outhouse, hey Matthew, at a redneck convention on an airplane, Walmart parking lot, <laughs> that would be a good place to renew, Smith & Wesson store, I mean it was a shotgun wedding, oh, at your in-laws, they don't <laughs> like either of you now, and at chicken coop, in jail, on the Tonight Show, <laughs> at 7-Eleven, in front of the firing squad at a mental hospital in a meth lab <laughs> at the zoo. How fast are the alligators? Let's see, ask, ask the three musketeers, Becky Ottenberry, Dolores, and uh, Debbie Malone. They can tell you, they're from Louisiana. <laughs> at gunpoint, ammo dump, on a long, miserable <laughs> road trip <laughs> at ex-wife's house. Hey, Luke from Arkansas, welcome. Alligator tippers only have one arm. <laughs> see, did you see that, Rhonda? <laughs> you don't want to have a glass eye and missing a, an arm. <laughs> that would be too much body parts gone. <laughs> I hope you don't have a glass eye. I didn't mean to pick on it. At the swap meet. <laughs> Does everybody know what a swap meet is? Because we have them in California. In the middle of a tornado. <laughs> just a random... Wait. Just a random thought. Worst person to have as a bridesmaid. Your ex-wife. Okay, that's a random thought. We'll take that, Chris. In hell. <laughs> In your mother's basement playing Xbox. <laughs> At grandma's funeral. <laughs> At Subway with Jared. <laughs> oh, is Jared still around? Isn't he in prison? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right. It's time to hydrate and share. Nine o'clock. Please hydrate all 80 people. You know, I'm trying to be healthy. So instead of bringing my broccoli, I mean chocolate, my chocolate, which I call broccoli, I got some grapes. Because I live in California, I have access to grapes. Actually, with the drought next year, there'll be raisins. All right, let's see what else. Where's the worst place to renew your vows? Grandma's funeral? Somewhere with your <laughs> At the Red Hen and the Rooster Scoop on the freeway. <laughs> okay. At Walmart's at the checkout counter. People will wait, yeah. Outer space at rehab. Outer space, that's possible now. Thanks to Elon Musk and Mr. Amazon guy. At rehab on a roller coaster at your child's baptism. Disneyland, it's a small world ride. At an auction, <laughs> emergency room, at a live concert, yeah, she can hear you, at an AA meeting, at a sobriety checkpoint. <laughs> hey, Chris Rossetti, welcome on Skid Row. That was your question we're asking. On Skid Row, on a broken down carnival ride, stuck at the top of the roller coaster and upside down. <laughs> 
All right. Please hydrate and share all 82 people. Dollar Tree plastic flower aisles. <laughs> Nuclear plant at full power. In a bedroom closet. Green screen grapes. Oh, that's right. You can't see them. Because they're green. And they're behind the screen. So. Okay. Hmm. Wow, those are transparent grapes. I can't taste them because they're transparent now. In the middle of NASA's headline, <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> By the way, this Sunday morning, I'll be teaching at New Venture Church again at 10 o'clock in the morning in Oceanside, California. If you're in Oceanside or near Oceanside, uh, come and join me. Would love to see you there. I'm a trendsetter. Forget body piercing and tattoo. Armless with a glass eye is a new rebel wear. <laughs> All right, Rhonda. <laughs> I don't think you're going to have <laughs> a lot of followers on this one because they'll be missing a leg too. <laughs> oh. At the cafeteria inside Ikea. <laughs> On Sarah's rooster. <laughs> He's not Sarah's. <laughs> Those are some strange looking grapes you have there, Nas. They got green screen affected. They did. In the labor and delivery room. That's a good place to renew. At your high school prom. <laughs> Already you renew revels at the high school prom. <laughs> On stage in front of a crowd expecting a concert. Oh, at your high school graduation, at the OBGYN during an annual exam, Rochelle. <laughs> okay, in the Biola cafeteria. We're done with that. Chris, you keep reminding me John is not affected by that. I remember how much money I paid for a four-year private Christian university. During your relative's <laughs> divorce court hearing. <laughs> yeah, just to tease them, right? Oh, you guys are getting divorced, but me and my wife are renewing our <laughs> vows. The rooster is in my <laughs> look. I'm his manager, and currently he's working for Purina. Oh, modeling and for their pet food bags. Oh, that rooster. Sarah is making money now. While jumping out of a plane at a proctologist appointment. <laughs> okay, construction site. Hey, uh, on a broken down car, I know we're probably about to die, but would you like to renew our wedding vows? At a scene, sense, scene, I can't read it. What is a scene, scene or scenic? While witnessing an execution, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> uh, in, a, in a porter party. <laughs> That's horrible, but good. New venture, what time is the service? 10 in the morning. One service, 10 o'clock. Would love to see you there, Ellen. In the ICU, in the psych ward, <laughs> at the dentist's office while they're in the chair getting a tooth pulled. Ouch. <laughs> at a family reunion, <laughs> at New Venture. Don't do it. Bass Pro Shop, right. Skid Row, in Judge Judy's court. I never liked Judge Judy. She's just mean. And they used to have a lady uh, that does uh, CNN. What's her name? Nancy Grace. She was another angry. P I'd love to see him in a WWE wrestling match, the two ladies. Nancy Grace, if you remember her, blonde hair, and Judge Judy. At your trial for murder, <laughs> that's commitment, circus on the maiden voyage of the Titanic. At the border. <laughs> Not a good place right now. Not a good place, Michelle. On family feud. <laughs> at assisted living home. Right after you've had your wisdom teeth removed. <laughs> High tide in the ocean. First job working for Rooter Rooter. <laughs> Just after they yell quiet on the set. <laughs> at the justice of peace. In Hazard County, while playing Two Truths and a Lie, 
if Nancy Grace isn't the devil, she's kin to him. <laughs> I thought so. I don't know. She's still around, right? I, I don't know. During a car chase on my scooter. That's right. In her left car. <laughs> that look on her face. I know. She's always like... Ugh. And now... She's living in the Fox Studios. <laughs> A meeting of which people attempt to make contact with the dead. Oh, especially through the agency of a medium. Oh, I saw the movie Coco on Disney. Didn't that would actually be funny <laughs> in a car chase <laughs> at a hazmat site. Nancy Grove solves crimes now. She does. Uh, because she knows who did it. <laughs> or how it was done. While watching a movie in the movie theater. In Gavin Newsom's <laughs> mansion. On stage during your comedy set. <laughs> that would be horrible. Dur I would stop the show and just let him do it. At a bank robbery. Either way you're going to end up in custody. While you're making chump. WWE match, yep. In Wuhan lab where there are bats. <laughs> All right, Michael, you're on. At the Queen Mary on the Carol Burnett show. You know the Queen Mary is in Long Beach, California. It's a great place to visit that ship. While getting arrested for robbing at Mrs. Department store. Alrighty, right now I want to take you into the Guinness Book of World Record and we're going to talk about food. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because today is National Chocolate, White Chocolate Day. Today is National White Chocolate Day. Also, it's National Ice Cream Cone Day. So there's a lot of food involved in this process. While Jim Pesky, <laughs> my Jim Pesky tells you to circle back. That's funny, look. <laughs> On the live with Nash show. Okay. All right. So today, here's the, if you're new to us, this is what we do in the Guinness Book of World Record. We give you an opportunity to win this wonderful toilet paper. And all you have to do is we're going to read the records from the Guinness Book. And you, you don't have to look it up. All you have to do is make three guesses. And if you get the right number or you come close to it, you will win this beautiful toilet paper. I'm going to give you a range so you don't have to guess too much. So here it comes. Largest collection of chocolate bars. Chocolate lover Bob Brown from the U.S. has a world's largest personal collection of chocolate bars. And his tempting cash was put on display at the Castleton Square Mall in Indianapolis in October 2010. How many unique items of chocolate bars he has? Over 500, under 1,000. Can you imagine different chocolate items ch or chocolate bars? Over 500, under 1,000. Give me your best three guesses. Brent and Audra got banned for last comment. Are you serious? Well, Naz gives away toilet paper. Michael Goldstein. What did he say? <gasps> How did you guys know on a car chase in California? The Queen. Mary is haunted. Is it? I didn't know that. On the live. Why? Why did the. Uh, what did. Okay, I'm going to try to find what. Uh, what Brent said. While you're making film. Bobby Miller. Where did. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to. I want to see why, why people get, you know, banned for saying stuff if you're only joking here. Let's see, Dolores. Okay, where are you? What did he say? Oh, well, he can't say it. <laughs> Don't tell me what he said because you'll be banned too. Okay, Alan Goodwin, and now she's living and. Yes, Chris, Ben, Debbie, Sarah, Bobby, Chris, Luke, 
for sale. Ben, let's see. Luke, Bobby, Michael, Michael, Rhonda, Sarah, Luke, Becky, Maha. Maha said six. Hi, baby. Maha is my wife. Just got banned for three days. How did you guys know? Brent Reed for the Firing Squad comment. Oh, I could have that record, but I ate all of my chocolate bars. Okay, Chris Martell said 568, 699, and 997. Okay. And Paul said 623, 750, and 816. Becky, he's talking on live with Nat's post. Oh, okay, that's how we found out. 599, 699, 899 for Bobby Miller. Becky's, oh. Rochelle said 786, 964, and 578. Just copied and posted it from the group chat and said <laughs> to let you know. Oh, I'm so sorry. Lily, 559, 627, and 711. Dolores, 516, 750, and 734. Sarah, Michael, it was called the B jokes, Naz. <laughs> it was called the B jokes. The B jokes makes it, but the <laughs> firing squad don't. They're really watching your show. Well, good for them. I hope they stick around till the end when we talk about the Lord. Nancy's fiance was murdered, and she has made a, a lifetime career of bitterness and willingness to forgive. Wasted what God gave her to focus on what he took away. Oh, and willingness to forgive. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, Rhonda Wells said, 842 924 Debbie Malone said, Naz, I tried to appeal my case to Facebook when they took me off other nights and could not get to, to appeal because you're dealing with an uh, AI, artificial intelligence. Sorry, what was the range? Over 500, under 1,000. Good evening, Maha. Yes. Okay, 782, Becky Ottenberry. 982 and 882. Uh, Michelle, 575, 785 and 996. Debbie Malone, 542, 762 and 814 matthew 555 620 and 777 rita 700 888 christian goble 577 777 and 977 sold sold someone add me back to the live with that chat please all right bobby can you add luke please 711 557, 657, and 757. Michael Ramirez, 721, 731. 711 stores don't count. <laughs> All right, sold. Okay, here's the answer, people. Uh, the largest collection of chocolate uh, that Bob Brown had was that he had 770 unique items. So we have two winners. Matthew Dirks and Christian Goebel. Congratulations to you, you two, and uh, Christian Goebel. First win. Enjoy it. Enjoy half of this toilet paper. And then Matthew from Wisconsin. So, Christian, I think you're from Colorado or from uh, Chicago. Remind me. Because we have to figure out how to send you half a... Or you can come to my show whenever I'm in your town. I'll give you a roll of toilet paper. Because I mean that. And no, they're not... <laughs> There. <laughs> it is a three-way tie. Luke and Christian and Matthew. Oh, Luke uh, said 777? Did Luke say 777? Luke, my Arkansas friend. Oh, he did. Oh. And Matthew Dirk, right? Did Matthew say that too? Okay, I'm sorry. It's just moving so fast. And I was thinking... Okay, 777. Luke said it. Christian Goebel said it. And okay, Matthew Dirk. Yeah, three winners. 
All right, it's gonna Danville, Illinois. That's right, Christian. So we got Arkansas. This toilet paper is gonna go over Arkansas to Wisconsin and to Illinois. So each one, when you get it, take whatever you need and just put it in the mail and ship it to them. <laughs> no, if you ever come to my shows, I will give you a toilet paper. One day I will win TP again. You did. You used to win a lot. You won a lot in the last month, I think. We're on a roll. I did. Yes, you did. See Naz in person and get the stolen. Tara. It's not stolen. It's giving with love by grace. <laughs> Congrats, you all. We're out of toilet paper. Okay, Bobby. Matthew, thanks. I am at a dozen. Done as long as it isn't recycled. No, <laughs> seven seven a godly number area. All right, Christian Goble. Okay, yeah, it's time to hydrate and share, people. Hydrate and share. Hydrate and share, please. And here's your last question for the night. This, of course, came from the wonderful the wonderful Rita and it is yeah clues you know you're adopted clues you know you're adopted clues you know you're adopted this is <laughs> this is what she came up with your parents eye color doesn't match your third eye your parents still have the rock you came under from. Your birth certificate. What? Your birth certificate states no refund. Your birth certificate states no refund. So give me some clues. You know you're adopted. You look nothing like your parents. Naz, how are the vitamins working? You know what? They're working great. I am telling you, I have no inflammation. I'm feeling more flexible. The energy is still there all night till 11 when I go to bed. And the clarity, you know, this mental clarity is good. So if people don't know about this, I need to tell you because those are sponsors of our show. So we have to let them know that, guys, this is where you can get those vitamins. Now, the average American spends, the average American spends $150 on vitamins and you go no that's too much no it is because it's health because it has to do with your immune system these vitamins work with your immune system therefore with all these variants you want to be you know protect your immune system so these are available if you click on them and you can buy them at a discount and also put the name Nazareth on the shipping so you get free shipping if you don't if you only want to get one thing I'll tell you what the mental clarity is amazing. And then the, the amustem is also for your immune system. Those are very important. But if you get the package, the adaptism, the amustem, and the re relaxol, this is a really good uh, package. It's $99. These are not your Walmart or GNC or, you know, those are high-end vitamins that physicians take themselves. And... It does, it works because it has enzymes that will dissolve it in your body so it doesn't just flow through your body and you go, oh, I see the, no. It's clear, it's good, and it works. So, if that's what you want, go for it. I'm not pushing anybody. I'm not a salesperson. But if you want to get good vitamins, they work for me. They might not work for you, but they work for me. My sister Anita says, after hydrate and share, comes pause and pee. <laughs> ah, I love it that Rhonda is watching our show while she's on vacation. I mean, that means a lot to us to be able to sit and watch the show while you're on vacation. And it's Florida, so it's probably midnight right now. And her glass eye is probably shutting down at this point. <laughs> Clues you know you're adopted when your parents and siblings have accents and you don't. <laughs> That's right, Chris. <laughs> That's right. My parents didn't have any accents. I don't know why I do. Because they didn't live in this country. That's why they didn't have an accent. I didn't have an accent when I was in the Holy Land. 
It's when I came here that I had an accent. So you guys gave me the accent. Because I didn't have an accent back there. Nobody told me ever there, like, oh, you have an accent. No. Everybody has an accent there. Close your... <laughs> when you watch the video <laughs> your parents took of that day. <laughs> your siblings remind you every day, right? Your dad makes you pay back your Biola tuition. <laughs> tuition. <laughs> parents have brown hair and I have blonde hair on my back. <laughs> on my back Rhonda deserves a scary laugh okay Rhonda because of that glass eye you asked for it you know you didn't ask for it but Michael asked for it alright let's give it to you <laughs> this is reserved for special occasions alright <laughs> Uh, parents, <laughs> Rita, <laughs> oh Rita, I was hungry for chocolate, not anymore. <laughs> the, the DNA test comes back and you don't match either parent. I can't wait till else is okay to visit the Holy Land and finally have an accent. All right, guys, I used, you know, the last trip I took about 40 some people with me. So if you ever want to go to Israel, wait and go with me because really, I have two pastors with me, one tour guide, and and then I chime in when there's some good information. The DNA does that. Uh, I can't, okay. Does free shipping apply to other products in their line or just the ones you're taking? No. Anything on my on that site that here is is will apply to stuff. Anything you order from that site that I just put there will be will apply. The doctor suggests a different item to me, but it has to be ordered from their main site. Oh, well, let me know what it is. I'll let them know. Just uh, message me. Okay, let's see. All right. Uh, when your DNA, when your glass eyes are two different colors, you know you're adopted. <laughs> Diane said when people always say, I can't figure out who you look like. Yep, adopted. My parents are both human, adopted. When your parents ask if they can return you and get a refund, <laughs> just bought the kit. <laughs> what kit? I thought for the adoption kit or for the vitamin kit. If you bought the vitamins, please let me know in two weeks how you feel. Write down how you feel today, whatever is going on in this next day, and then, and then uh, try your parents give you all the mail <laughs> address to occupant. <laughs> Rosetti, you deserve. <laughs> Rosetti is a great writer, people, and this is hilarious. <laughs> it says occupant, they give it. Dolores said my sister took my answer. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> is she your real sister? <laughs> when your parents send you back to the orphanage, <laughs> when my tail is longer and green. <laughs> oh, the vitamin. Thank you, Lily. Oh, so now they're going to make a donation to Laughter for All. That's awesome. So, Lily, let me know, please, in two weeks, how you feel. If you have any, like, are you sore, muscle sore is gone. If your energy is up more, if you're focused more, let me know. I'm a Republican. <laughs> You're adopted. Return to Cinder. I, I legit thought you meant adoption kid too. Me too, yeah. <laughs> your parents are actually apes. When your mom addresses you funny, <laughs> you know you're adopted. <laughs> when the only mail you get is addressed to current resident. Oh, thank you, Lily. Rosetti wins. <laughs> when you look like Rosetti and your dad looks like Boy George. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Boy George. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Oh, man, that is good. <laughs> when you have to sit on a stool in the corner all the time. <laughs> when your parents give you junk mail. When's, when's what? TP? <laughs> I don't know. That's funny, guys. That is funny.
All right, what time is it? Oh, shoot, 9.26, people, we're done. Prayer time. Please pray. Uh, Becky Wolf asked if we can pray for this person who had a car accident and he had a brain surgeon when your mom and dad are James and John. <laughs> You're adopted. You're so funny, Rhonda, tonight. You're so funny. When your parents <laughs> leave you behind and go on vacation. When you're sent out to pick up after the dog while everybody eats dinner, <laughs> you're adopted. <laughs> okay, prayer request, please. Please pray, pray, pray for that surgery, the you know, brain surgery. Please pray for Bobby Miller. Please pray and spoken for, um, for Sarah. Please pray for Stella, the little one. I still don't have updates. Pray for her brother, Remy. Today he's in Portland at the hospital. They're trying to figure out what's wrong with this 12-year-old boy. Please continue to pray for him. Pray for this Sunday's message uh, at uh, New Venture. When you get left at the Grand Canyon and end up with a m mullet and a beat-up <laughs> muscle car, you're adopted. Prayers keep us in prayer. Lots of things in the air, yes. We're still praying for uh, little Remy, the the preemie grandson of Matthew, and also pray for uh, Matthew's family. Please, please, please pray for our friend, Jay Stilson, uh, our chef. He needs a lot of prayer for healing, for his home situation, for just his work. Please keep a friend of mine's son in prayer for his eye injury. We will. Uh, continue prayer for me. I have more acupuncture treatment tomorrow. We'll be praying for that. Okay, anybody else needs prayer? Please, this is where we pray for you people. I love it that we get to pray for people. Praying for Joey, yes. Pray for Brent. Uh, you think he's doing good? This is awesome. I got to share something real quick with you guys about a friend. Um, I want to take the freedom to talk about them a little bit. They're in our Bible study that couples Bible study that we attend attended for a while before the pandemic and then online Maha still does it because I can't because I'm here but once in a while when they do get, get together I went um, this couple owned a very nice Italian restaurant in uh, Orange County nice Italian restaurant they had it for 30 years when the pandemic happens they had to shut down. They lost the business. That's horrible, right? But the husband, Eves, he's uh, from Spain. He started a ministry called Kerut, which it says K-H-E-R-U-T, which stands for Keeping Her Uplifted and Transformed. It's for women who comes out to come out of the sex trafficking, to protect them and help them transform because he's a professional chef and he using this ministry to teach these women how to become good cooks and work in the restaurant business and and actually they bought well they through the donations they got trucks food trucks and these girls that were came out of sex trafficking are working on these food trucks and having an income a real good you know income instead of being in that lifestyle just a wonderful ministry and God is blessing this ministry hugely and this couple is is happier I've never seen them that happy because of that ministry they're just excited they're serving the Lord they're just rejoicing guess what when the pandemic happened they lost the restaurant they were so sad to lose this a restaurant after 30 years that's their baby so continually saying what God, you know, we think God, we do, see, God's ways are different than our ways. And if you think your situation could be very bad right now, it could be for the best. Like we talked about Stella, the three-year-old. She swallowed a quarter. And when they went to do the ultrasound, they found tumors. I'm glad they, she swallowed the quarter. And same thing, I'm glad that restaurant is closed because now the ministry is growing so fast. So, just want to share that with you. When you look at your situation, look at it from God's eyes. Ask God to show you His point of view on it. Amen? 
I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for another <laughs> great show. Would love to see you tomorrow night, God willing, 8.30 p.m. Good night, and have a great one. Thank you.